Hi there, grandkids. Today we're going to read, I Was a Second Grade Werewolf. In this story, Lawrence Talbot, second grade boy, wakes up one morning to discover he's a werewolf. He has fangs, he has hairy hands and everything. Let's read to discover what happens when you turn into a werewolf. I Was a Second Grade Werewolf by Daniel Pinkwater. When I woke up in the morning, I saw that the backs of my hands were covered with hair. I looked in the mirror. My face was all hairy too. My nose was different. I had long, sharp teeth. I knew what had happened. I have turned into a werewolf, I said. Neat. My mother called me to breakfast. I wonder what they'll say when they see I'm a werewolf, I thought. They didn't say anything. Breakfast was the same as it was every day. I ate cereal, orange juice, milk, and my little brother's plastic cup with a picture of a spaceman on it. Nobody said anything special. Lawrence, stop snarling at your sister, my mother said. I walked to school with the usual bunch of kids. I thought someone would say something. I thought someone would notice that I was a werewolf. Nobody did. I walked part of the way to school and ran part of the way on all fours. I got there ahead of my friends. My teacher is Mrs. Pac-Man. I was sure she would say something. She's very strict. Mrs. Pac-Man didn't say anything. I sit in the back of the room. Maybe she didn't see me. I bit the shoulder of the girl who sits in front of me, Loretta Parsnip. Mrs. Pac-Man, Lawrence Talbot bit me, Loretta Parsnip said. Now she'll notice, I thought. I'll bet she screams. Lawrence, behave yourself, Mrs. Pac-Man said. That's all. I was getting mad. Why was everyone pretending not to notice that I had changed into a werewolf? I ate a pencil. Mrs. Pac-Man read a story to the class. It was about a fuzzy blue bunny. She held up the book to show us the pictures. Who is growling? Mrs. Pac-Man asked. Lawrence Talbot, are you growling? Stop that noise. I ate lunch with my best friend, James Ballpoint. I ate a cardboard milk carton and a Twinkie with the cellophane on it. That's neat said James. Do you see anything different about me? I asked. Nope, James said. I'm a werewolf, I said. Great, James said. I'm a werewolf too. No, you're not, I said. Why not? Why can't I be a werewolf too? Because I'm a real werewolf. It's not some stupid game. I think you're stupid, James said, and walked away. He gets mad like that. I was standing by the iron fence around the school. I bent some of the bars. I walked home by myself after school. I snarled at my little brother and went out into the backyard and squashed a football. I was in a bad mood.
I didn't bother to say anything to my family at supper. I just lapped up my food. That night, I climbed out through the window and ran through the streets on all fours. I howled at the moon. I had a pretty good time. The next morning, I looked into the mirror and noticed that I wasn't a werewolf. My mother called me to breakfast. Did you have a good night, Lawrence? She asked. Yes, I did. Everything was back to normal. Nobody had noticed anything. The next time I turn into a werewolf, it's going to be different. So that's the story of being a second grade werewolf. Why do you think no one noticed that Lawrence had turned into a werewolf? Talk about that. I love you guys. Bye bye.